So today I got you guys the part 2 of 10 things to do in zombies when you play with randoms or with your friends and trust me by the end of it you'll know exactly what to do. Let's say you got a friend named Bob uh, and he always annoyed the shit out of you. Well by the end of this video you will be able to hit him up with a bah especially if you have already watched part 1 and there are a couple of other series that I'm running on the channel and all of them and their playlists will be linked down in the description and you guys can also submit your ideas in the comments for example what you like to do to annoy your friends or random so I can feature you in part 3 of this video and you guys can also submit some video ideas that you want me to actually cover but real quick uh, these are some of the new homies that actually subscribe to the channel and I will have some more of you featured during the video as well so Nibba I got you but if you are new on the channel hey make sure to subscribe with notifications and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next episode but coming in at our number 10 spot We have this boy by the name of Lord by default He actually put this comment on my 10 things noobs do video and he was just like noobs never ready up and shit like that And that's the worst, but I would just like nibba please But I do see this being fit for this video He says people that don't ready up are the worst and let me tell you I was playing with my friends a couple of uh, nights ago and uh, basically we jumped in a party we were on PC PS4 and you know sometimes on PS4 the connection is and what we decided to do was that let's go ahead and play some giant you know what I'm saying and uh, what I did like I went in the game and I backed out connection interrupted connection interrupted I do get Kenchi and uh, for real they thought the connection really got interrupted and then they invited me again and I was going on and off for ready myself up and unready but I quickly want to let you know don't do this twice if you're playing with your friends definitely back out and be like connection interrupted but don't do this more than twice and if you are playing with randoms you definitely don't wanna ready up for the first two to five minutes alright like five minutes you're actually stretching like big time I'm not gonna lie but uh, you never wanna ready up for the first two minutes and this is kinda like a good test because uh, if people back out you know that they don't have the patience that's that but also you don't wanna like back out because of course if you're playing with the randoms then uh, if you back out then what's the point you're most likely not gonna get the second chance to be in the exact same lobby so don't back out when you're playing with randoms but if you're playing with your friends you can back out and be like connection interrupted and you guys can see and shit like that but coming in at our number nine spot we have this boy by the name of Chris again I don't know this guy but let's just say he's my boy now and he says playing on moon and uh, don't use the teleporter in no man's land and watch as everyone dies and this is so true though I was actually doing an open lobby a couple of weeks ago and and uh, everyone and myself would be like standing on the teleporter ready to be teleported to moon and play Call of Duty Zombies on the moon if you know what I'm saying. And there was this one guy that was never actually coming here. When he would come near the teleporter someone else would go on the other side on the area 51 and try to get kills and make points right. And I swear to god like this actually annoys the shit out of even Bob. This annoyed the shit out of Bob as well so definitely do it 10 out of 10 IGN but coming in at our number 8 spot we have this guy who says what about the EMP box troll and I was just like god damn I, I was patiently waiting for someone to bring this up and we have another guy who says no what's annoying is when you get the mark 2 and someone EMP the box in town or transit and I want to add this as well if you're playing transit and you got that EMP and someone gets jug throw your EMP on juggernaut and that will make them have no jug even though they have jug but that will deactivate juggernaut effects and it will make them die if the zombie actually hit them twice which is just like a good meme and of course when someone is hitting the box up you want to throw your EMP you only get two EMP grenades so you want to use them wisely don't use them when they get the SMR obviously if they get the SMR then they're not gonna pick it or if they pick it well they're not gonna use it they just wanna pick it up so they can re-hit the box so don't use it if they get the war machine or the SMR or something bad but use it when they get RPD monkey bomb it's it's just a good meme but coming in at our number seven spot now I first of all I do want to apologize when I was getting the screenshot my boy vidIQ actually blocked his username so uh, if you're watching this video dude I'm really sorry but we can actually see a little bit of his name we can see the letter D and towards the end we can see A R E S R and uh, that's 
that's all we know about this guy. But he says, what about stealing a bow or staff? Also, just subscribe. Hey, I really do appreciate it, my man. I swear, stealing bows or staff, it's a good meme. You want to let them make the bow. You want to let them make the staff as well. But for the staff, you want to make sure they actually upgrade it because it's more fun to steal a staff when it's upgraded. You know what I'm saying? It's just a good meme, guys. Try it out. I swear you're going to have so much fun and especially do this with your friends. Like, be like, I'm going to work on the fire bow. Make sure you work on this bow. Whatever bow you like, just make sure you let them work on that. Be like, I'm going to make the fire bow. But you don't have to make it. You just have to say it that you're going to make it. But hey, the other guy will be like, all right, so I'm going to make this bow. Let's say uh, you want the electric bow. Just be like, hey, dude, just make the electric bow and I'll, I'll make the fire bow and everything like that. And as soon as he make it, be like, oh, shit, Panzer is behind you. Watch out and go to the box and pick up that bow and be like, neba. But coming in at our number six spot, we have my boy by the name of Dr. Bobby Tone. I'm not sure if my boy is a doctor or not, but of course, we're talking about YouTube here, so let's not get confused. But he actually gives us six ideas, not just one, not just two, but my boy actually gives six ideas to annoy people and I told him that I will only take one or two ideas and guess what we have a ton of ideas for this video and I'm only going to take one of his idea and I'm gonna leave all the other ideas that he got for the next episode and the next next one if you know what I'm saying so Dr. Uh, Bobiton or however you say your name I'm really sorry if I'm butchering your name but uh, uh, I, I got you in my next episode as well but the first idea he got on the list is use the trample steam to fly people off the ledge on die rise. Now if you're playing with your friends definitely build that trample steam definitely make sure that you holla at them and be like uh, guys we need to build that uh, trample steam it's very important very useful it can make us fly to around 100 in two seconds so just make sure you kind of like click bit them if you know what I'm saying because if you don't do that then they're not gonna make it so you wanna inspire them or not inspire them but you wanna motivate them yes you wanna motivate them and you wanna be like let's make the the trample steam it's gonna get us to like crazy high rounds like crazy like big news I know scares in real life Lex follow me on Twitter just just say whatever the hell you want to but just say something all right you listen to me right now you want to clickbait them real hard and be like okay so uh, let's make the trample steam and as soon as you guys make the trample steam place it somewhere and be like hey you want to see the eight wonder of this world step on it it's just a good meme but coming in at our number five spot i have my boy that italian kid he's my boy although i don't know him now this guy or this boy says Dude, what about pretending that this is like your first zombies game ever? And dude, I was dying to see someone put this shit in my comments. And guess what? You are the first guy to actually put it in my comments. Now, what you want to do is you want to get the microphone, all right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a low quality microphone, if it sounds like you are talking with a toaster or talking on a toaster or it sounds like you got a toaster. Whatever. It doesn't matter, right? So just put a microphone, get your microphone, get that beat, get that shit connected and be like, guys, I have survived 100 rounds countless time in this game called Call of Duty Black like off three zombies and you want to say this prior to uh, you being in the game all right it's very important you want to say this you want to click bid them real good and if you want to say Lex follows me on Twitter uh, or be like I know Lex in real life you actually hung out once just say whatever the hell you want just say whatever all right you get the idea so you want to click bid them real good but when you get inside the game definitely do whatever I said in my part one you want to actually steal their kills you want to do everything I said in part one right and on top of that, you want to say, uh, well, this is my second game. You don't want to say this is your first game, all right? I know that Italian kids that pretend this is your first game, but uh, if you say that, then it's like, they're not going to take you seriously. They're like, Niva, please, right? You want to say this is your second or third game, but you want to act like this is your first game, and that's where the fun begins. And you want to do whatever you can. Just don't do anything they say. Don't buy doors. Uh, buy the uh, Shiva off of the wall. Just do whatever the hell you want. It's just a good meme. But coming in at our number four spot, now I have my boy. Kenneth he says well if someone does anything like this to me now he actually dropped this comment on my part one uh, of this uh, uh, series right so he says well if someone does anything like this to me I'll make them my personal target for the rest of the game my boy uh, in every single round I will make a train of zombies and go at you when I reach you I'll use in plain sight or anywhere but here and leave you with your 15 new zombie friends now thanks to extract from this comment you want to have anywhere but here or in plain sight it's very important so you want to have 
at least one of the goblin gum and you want to do a call out and be like so who has ammo and who is low on ammo you want to make sure you go at the guy that has low amount of ammo and you want to train zombies real hard you don't want to kill any of your zombie make sure you got 10 to 20 zombies maybe even 30 zombies let's just make it 30 zombies right so you want to have 30 zombies and make sure you got in plain sight or anywhere but here it's very important and whoever says they got like low amount of uh low, low amount of ammo you want to go at them and you also want to make sure they also got some zombies all right and when you go at them be like hey please kill my zombies i don't have enough bullets and watch them be annoyed as f and they're most likely going to call you by names as well so make sure get some popcorns ready as well but coming in at our number three spot we have jackson is the best and i don't know if he's the best or not but that's what he claims in his username so we have my boy jackson he says uh he actually gave us two ideas the first one was like not teleporting on moon we already discussed about it and the number two is uh not standing on pack-a-punch plates on Shangri La and trust me whenever people scream in a public lobby hey just go over and stand on the pressure please dog let's actually turn on pack punch let's pack punch our guns you do not want to do that all right you hear me you don't want to do that be like this is my first time playing zombies I don't know what pack punch is I don't know what it does all I know is it's not a good meme if you say that trust me they will be annoyed they may even rage quit who knows they may even rage quit and when they rage quit be like well I know uh, pressure plates uh, I I actually watch a YouTube video and just watch another guy rage quit the shit out of that game as well. But coming in at our number two spot, we have Jeffrey who says to make people rage. Now he starts off his sentence by saying to make people rage. My boy is ready. You know what I'm saying? And he says you can set traps in front of them when they are running to you. And this works really damn well in the giant. You want to do that giant, you know what, like the catwalk strategy, right? Now, right before that, you also have a electric trap. So be like, hey, let's go pack punch guns. And of course, you can block their ass inside of the pack punch. But as soon as you do that, you want to run and uh, be like, hey, let's go on the catwalk, boy. And you want to be the first guy, all right? You want to be the first guy. You want to be in front of them and you want to turn on that trap. And if they don't have juggernaut, well, they were gonna go down and if they have jug well a lot of people don't know that if you have juggernaut and if you go through traps you're not gonna die but trust me a lot of people panic a lot of people it's it's just gonna annoy the shit out of them a lot of people panic when they see a trap on they don't want to go uh, through it even if they got juggernaut because sometimes what happens is that you get hit once by the zombie and you go through it well you're gonna be red screen or you're gonna insta down and if they down well they're most likely gonna rage quit and it's not gonna be or it's going to be a good meme but coming in at our number one spot now i'm assuming you already know that i like to hit you guys up with a ba at the end and uh guess what this time it's no different and we have this boy by the name of super tattoos who says i love stealing other people's zombies but i hate when people steal my zombies now talk about two-sided people god damn now i'm gonna end this video right here and i want to say if you have missed any of the videos that you can see on the screen check them out by clicking them on the screen right now subscribe if you happen to be new and uh, smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and send in your uh, suggestions your recommendations your ideas in the comments right now and I'll see you very freaking soon